Hello everyone, Kenji here at Life of Clay. Welcome to my channel and here we are again for another sculpting video tutorial. This time, a ghost mantis, Phylocrania paradosa. Ghost mantis is the smallest species of mantis from Africa. Remarkable for its leaf-like body and withered leaf appearance using for camouflage. It grows only to 1.8 to 2 inches, a miniature among other praying mantis, but in this sculpture, I made it a little bigger than its actual size. So come on, bring the clay on, and let's begin. And please, don't forget to hit those subscribe and bell button so you will be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. I start preparing the wires for the armature, I file the tip to make it pointy, and this will be for the mantis front legs. Bending them according to the shape of its front legs. And for the legs, I also file the tip to make them pointy as well. Now it's time to assemble and I tie them all using a regular yarn. Support them with masking tape and add epoxy set aside to cure overnight. Now it's time to bulk the abdomen using epoxy to keep the foil in place. For the thinner leaf-like parts of its body, I use a regular face mask. I sketch the sheet according to the reference shape, trim them out and strengthen the fiber with epoxy resin. And now it's time to attach this fiber sheet preliminarily using two parts epoxy. Then finish them with epoxy resin and let them cure overnight. And let's do that leaf like headdress for her head. And finish it also with epoxy resin. And now it's time to cover the abdomen with clay. Adding the details for the wings. adding her anus. And now let's do the thorax. And now I'm adding the segments on its abdomen. And 
And using a white Premo, I add the tip of the wings because Premo is a bit stronger than Sculpey original and suitable for making shorter and thinner parts of the sculpture. I poke holes on both sides of her anus and these are for her anal cerci, the two short antennae like part. And now forming her coxa or the joints near the insect body. Adding base for the head using epoxy covered with crumpled foil set aside to cure. And now cover the front legs with clay and start shaping them. Femur or the middle part of these legs is a bit broader than the tibia and coxa. Leaving the pointy tip of the wire exposed for the tibia spine. And now adding holes for the spines to be added later. Cover the head with clay and add details including her compound eyes, mouth parts, and poking the place for the antennae. Adding her thorax hood using white Primo. Adding her headdress covering the base with the clay to make it seamless. made incision earlier on the side of your abdomen and now it's time to add these leaf-like flops. And do the first bake. I trim a plastic bristles for the spines and antennae. And I attach them using epoxy. I also attach the tip of her legs called tarsa. For the painting process, I use burnt sienna mixed with little red as primer. And for the second coating, I use burnt sienna red and draw umber. Adding yellow ochre to the mix for some areas of her body. And 
for the stripes and edges on her body, I add burnt amber. eyes with a little lighter yellow ochre and burnt sienna mix. And for the final touch, seal it with ultra matte polyurethane varnish. For the eyes, I use a gloss varnish. And that's it! Ghost Mantis is finally done! Hope you like it guys, and thank you for watching! Until next time, have a nice day everyone!